kind of eerie about this place. When I look to the right, it's pure darkness. So now it's time to wait and see what shows up. Craig doesn't have to wait for long. I got a visual of the bullshit. It's fine with his body like the barrier. That's exactly what we want. That's my first data point. Here comes one serving right along the pipe. Another bull shark, hoping for a late night snack, heads towards the barrier. He's approaching the barrier at a beautiful 90 degree turn away. You can tell that they smell the pain, but they're just not going through it. Man, this shark just really working. There's a break in the shark action. Mark takes a calculated risk. He's so impressed by Craig's contraption that he sprints from the safety of the shark cage to the inside of the barrier. Rack, they want you back here. But a bull shark comes out of nowhere. The shark coming straight at you, Rack, And another shark arrives. Together, the two bulls stir up silt to create an underwater sandstorm, a strategy to blind potential prey. I can barely see anything anymore. The water's really murky. It's pure pain Now things are getting serious. The barrier has never been tested at night with bull sharks in full hunting mode, let alone with a human as bait. Rackley, impressively cool, keeps filming his night stalkers from the questionable safety of the barrier. You can see these bull sharks are getting more aggressive. Bull sharks accelerating towards the barrier. Accelerating towards the barrier. Shark after shark breaks off its attack. Look at that, that's incredible! It completely turned away! Thanks to Rackley's raw nerve, Craig's got compelling proof on film that his low-tech barrier repels massive, aggressive bull sharks during peak hunting hours. But still, the real work on his rickety brainchild has only just begun. <laughs>